All right, we wake up and we're not raided. I spawn on my shop bag and see what my spoils have been overnight before heading home, depoting it, and getting ready for an eight hour shift. After getting home from work, I go ahead and open the bunker and learn Tommy with the scrap I got from the shop. I head onto my roof and look at the surroundings and head on out to get some nodes before seeing a bear and realizing I must have it. And after a quick depot, I head back out in the search for more nodes. After these runs, I grab all the nodes I've been deploying at the starter base and bring them to the main base. And on the way over, I check the shop and just made a couple more sales. And after I depot, I hear someone running by. So I run to the roof and put one in his head. It's kind of worth it. After depoting that, I have all these nodes farmed, but no wood. So I take my stone and run to outpost and get myself a fair bit of fuel from my furnaces. And while that restocks, I check the map and find a very good deal on crude oil. And as I get back with all the wood, I quickly depot it, get my furnaces running, and then grab my scrap to go buy that deal for crude. But as I get there, Someone already beat me to it in the five minutes I was gone. No! I check other shops around the map to see what they're selling their crude for. And I like a couple of the deals, so I buy one before running home and getting the necessary things to get the rest. I load up on Metal War, a garage door, and scrap to buy a refinery before heading back to get a lot of crude. As I'm running home, I meet this unfortunate soul trying to get a start. Rust is cruel like that. And as daytime approaches, I have no room to put anything, so I craft some boxes and flop them down. Dude, I'm gonna raid like half of the server. I waste no time and make my oil refinery base. I go ahead and tee it off the starter slash shop base before being rudely interrupted. I go ahead and secure my building resources before coming back out and trying to fight them. My first death of the day, and it won't be my last. I'm built right outside of Outpost on the most populated server in Rust. So after that minor hiccup, I go back to building my old refinery base so I can get some molly raids in. I, 
I make it home and we get the furnaces reloaded up. Then craft ourselves a SAR and grab everything we're gonna need to get the oil refinery going. I hear shots coming from the direction where I was just killed earlier. So I go to my roo and I do a little funny business. And I was right. It was the same guy who killed me earlier. I narrowly avoid a close call here, but now I can't go home. They know where I live and they're gonna be door camping me. So I decide to ditch the SARS and just run the crossbow for now and lure him away. So after making it home safely with the first round, I F1 and run back to the SARS I dropped. Hearing gunshots, I do a wide flank around into my shop base as to not get caught. After making home with the SARS, I go ahead and let the air cool down for a bit before finally bringing my oil refinery over and actually getting it set up to run crude. And while it's nighttime and my oil refinery is going, I gear up with a bunch of ammo, cloth, and meds, and head on over to tunnels.
Oh, my heart rate is going. Whoever that Revy kid was, dude, he is a godsend. Him dying to those those guys right there saved my life. Well, I'm not home yet, am I? But I just want to remind people this server is full pop. Well, no point in dilly dallying. We run on home. That's not the least bit terrifying. Woo! As I depot all the tunnels loot, I run over to my oil refinery base, grab the low grade, and you guessed it, I made myself some mollies. Let's do some raid, boys. After that flawless gameplay fight there, I run up the hill and find my first Molly target. So I don't know if Molly's were bugged this wipe, but four Molly should destroy a wall and those hit right on. Sometimes it gets you close, sometimes it doesn't, but Crafted another molly and came back, and we got in. Not a bad little haul. And after depoting the loot, I make a couple more mollies and decide to hit a random TC that's been around Outpost for the whole day. Again, a direct hit has always broke the TC. I don't know what's going on. I make a pit stop to the oil refinery base, get the low grade, fill it up, and head on back home to fuel my Molly Raid addiction. I swap my SAR back in, make the mollies, do a little bit of roof camping here, and then head back out to do some molly raids. We find our next victim and start burning down the wall. Not too crazy, but it all adds up, right? Did 
this little fine paid for the previous raid. We load our furnaces up, depot the rest of the loot, and go out and explore these shots. So after losing that fight, I head back and just get up to no good shenanigans before I hear something interesting. I F1, make a DB and a couple grenades and go back to see if I can make a play. It's Bleach. He's from the sixth man just down the hill from me. They always have a guy that's on the roof camping every single inch of that road. And right on cue with a guy on the roof. Almost made the play, boys. I end up running back a couple more times, but nothing comes of it. So I just move on and go back to my Molly raids. Another dud. With nighttime approaching, I decided to hold off on another molly raid, load up my comps from the tunnel run earlier, and go to outposts. But before that, I learned the flashlight that I got from the P2 guy earlier, and it comes in handy almost straight away because I hear a little rat crouching outside my base. With the cover at night, we run into outpost and recycle everything. Hey. So my base up there that base and that base are having a roof camp match oh after getting home and depoting the goods we start the furnace back up and then grab our mollies and go find ourselves another raid Back to back duds. 
That's unfortunate. But nothing to do but keep on raiding, right? We crapped up some more mollies and head right back out. With three duds back to back to back, I decided to roam north, closer to outpost, and see if we could find ourselves a more juicy raid. I see a wooden base, just a metal door. I think this is the one I'm gonna hit. And again, make more mollies and we go once more. Now that's what we like to see on a molly raid. That's a good profit right there. And a Tommy, nice. I deposit the goodies and go back out to loot the guy I just killed. Only to get blasted by them from their shooting floor. For whatever you call that. They looted my body, but not the guy I killed. Makes no sense to me. So I grab a DB and some nades, and we try to go tit for tat. After dying a couple of times, I go back to what's been working tried and true and do some more molly raids. There's three of them. Oh, I hope they all die. After that loss, I decide to go get dinner, take a break, and pull my head off. And when I get back, I craft up a SAR, grab my jackhammer, and go out to do a big farm run. After making a tiny trip, I load my furnaces up so at least they're running and head back out.
And as I was going out for another farm run, my neighbors made a roof camp tower and started camping me. I make haste and grab building mass to make my third floor. So my third floor will be on the opposite side where they can't roof camp me. So I noticed my neighbor has an airdrop coming in, so I decide to contest it. After killing two of them, I know there's gonna be a lot of grubs, so I de-kit down to a revolver and head on out, only to die instantly to them on their roof. So after angering outpost, I enter here with the fight a little bit and just chill here for five minutes before running into the safe zone with his kit. Give me another! I'm dying! Feed my horse. Oh! If, if I. You stop eating it. No, no, if Give I didn't eat that, horse. I was gonna die. Dead. Oh, okay. On me. Kill me. I, I would never. You're a cool guy. I think you'll have a better shot of making it home if you walk. If people see yeah. you walking, they'll, they won't shoot you. You don't look enticing. Uh, no, I've died every time. No, no, no. See, people no, are nice in this game. This if they see I'm, I'm an undergeared no, person, they won't attack you. Oh, I've literally died like 20 times naked. No, you have to trust me. Look, I'm, it's only a 10 minute walk. Give me the horse. Yeah. Just give me the horse and you'll That's be fine. 20. It's, it's a 20 minute walk. I like how I'm telling you to give me the horse. Trying, trying to use me for your... I'm, I'm trying to get the horse, and my walk is literally 15 what? seconds. <laughs> okay, you're fucked. Join my team. After making that new friend, I run to the recycler chair and heal up before promptly leaving the team and never seeing him again. I head home and have another unique encounter. This is your base? Fuck yeah, this is my Holy! base. Holy! That's crazy! Damn, bro, I see why you love this server. You're out here in a mansion! After he stroked my ego for a little bit, oh, I gave him material to have a start to warm. and oh, sent him on his shit. way. Oh, don't, make a, don't make your base right here. Thank I'm gonna you. expand, but you can make it a little bit farther away. That'd be great. Or wherever you gotta make it. All right. Good luck. So after that little interaction, I crafted up some garage doors, metal doors, and embrasures for my base when I expand here in the future. After depoing all my stuff, I hear my neighbor's roof camping, so I go over to mess with them, only to lag out right as I do it. I fully expect to be looted by the time I get back, but lucky for me, no one caught on. I get back in and get right back to it. After killing him on his roof, I get my Jackie, go out and get some notes to upgrade my base.
And on my loop around, I hear a guy building a base. I see a flaw that he made, so I utilize it. And after that, Karma almost bites me in the butt just as quick as I bit him. Oh, my heart. I definitely didn't forget to research that. I grab my low grade from the oil refinery base, depot it, organize the sulfur a little bit, start my furnaces before heading back out to do another farm run. While I'm running, I see something very interesting. I look for the perfect time to grub, but end up getting caught out with the hands in the cookie jar. So I respawn on a close bag and run back. My goal is to blow up the scrappy. With the scrappy south at 14, this wouldn't be hard. All I have to do is let them shoot it at three times and boom. There's still grub potential here, so I grab a DB and hear someone right outside my oil primary base. I play time on this fight and wait for the perfect moment to strike. When I see a lot of people start dying, I run in and make my move. Five, five. After making that amazing play, ah. I turn around and this poor soul has no idea what's gonna happen to him. And I mean me. Ooh, the ghost of the yoga. After that loss, I spent about a whole rush cycle roaming around, just being a grub, until I see this guy. I end up grabbing my SAR and trying to get a free kill. It's not the same guy, but I'll take a free DB. We head on out to do a quick farm run. And kill four innocent naked along the way. After depoting all my uh, farm that I just got, I load up and head over to my shop to put some new inventory in for sale. Since it's day two, I go ahead and lower the prices really cheap to try and make sure they sell. Once I get back, I load up with some mats and start building my shooting floor. And the neighbors start roof camping. I gave it a couple minutes and I resume building the shooting floor.
After those barrage of bullets, I let them cool off and run away, and I finish making my shooting floor. I go ahead and learn down to siren light to finish my shooting floor, and then all the electrical components as well. Next, we metal up the base a little bit to give it a little bit more strength. and place down the siren lights so no one can jump through the peak downs. Lastly, I upgrade and expand the entrance to my base and add honeycomb foundations so I can place my detached TCs. After all that, I realize I have no more wood, so I grab a line of stone and head to outpost to get myself some more. And while I'm here, I notice someone selling a workbench level 3 for 5,000 sulfur, and I just so happen to have that in my shop for scrap. I run home and grab it and make haste to come back. And while I'm here, I see someone selling high qual for diesel, and it just so happens I have some at my house. On the way back with the most viable thing, this little gremlin tries to take me out. Ooh, that would have sucked if I died. We grab the jackhammer and do one last final Node run of the night.
with these final nodes. I'll be able to make my detachable TC now. I'm gonna kind of skim through this because it was a real pain to make this on this downward slope. After finishing the detached TC, I heard some shots and I went to investigate, but that was just my neighbor roof camping. And as I was set at home, my other neighbor was right outside my base. After these deaths, I go ahead and place my tier three and go ahead, armor my core fully. Now I'm at least a 24 rocket raid from any angle. I go ahead and learn armor window. As I'm wandering around my base for potential upgrades, I'm yet again being door camped by Nazi 4PF. It finally occurs to me that they're building their main base so I thought I might try and DB them. So after dying six times, I finally concede. I end up grabbing my scrap and run to Outpost to get those deals on Diesel. We don't let them losses bring us down, boys. So someone is selling one Diesel for every eight scrap. So I go ahead and buy 260 scrap worth of diesel. And then the original dealer I seen was selling 10 high quality metal per diesel. This would bring my total up to 360 high quality metal for almost no work at all. I flank around the far side and make it into my base safely without the neighbors noticing me. And the first thing we're gonna do is smelt all of this up. It's getting late in the night, so I make a couple window bars and take some of the best loot into the core. As I put down the last window, I noticed the three or four man who's been killing me still hasn't finished their base. So I make a last ditch effort to raid them before getting off. Crapped up seven or eight mollies, and we go at it, boys. Well, it was cursed to begin with, but I had to try. B 
before hopping off, I take all the high claw out of my furnaces, put the metal window up, seal my bunker. I'd say it was a pretty good day too. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you're back for part three. Thanks for everything and have a good night. What? Why is this behind one door?